Talk weather now. Heavy rainfall and flooding caused damage and road closures across many parts of southern Colorado again today, especially in some of those southeast neighborhoods near Fountain Security Widefield. Our Maggie Bryan in studio, and you were at some of those uh, locations this afternoon where we saw that flooding and the flood damage. Uh, tell us more about what you saw. Yeah, Rob, one of those flooded streets in Fountain blocking off over 100 homes. Residents from blocking off residents from going in and out of their neighborhood the whole day. Flooding in southern Colorado, some of the worst affecting areas near Peyton. Security, Ellicott, and Fountain. Growing up here, there's been a lot of rain, but nothing like this. Peaceful Valley Road on the east side of Fountain was closed off since 6 a.m and covered with three feet of water coming from a nearby creek. I probably might not make it home. <laughs> the flooded street trapped residents like Sean Smiley from getting to their homes down the road. My wife and kids are on the other side. Others like Megan Robinson, unable to get to their animals and livestock. The horses rely on me. Um, I feed them and water them daily and we do have three. And so it's a problem when I can't access them. The flooding bringing in more calls to Colorado Springs Fire's heavy rescue program as crews made several water rescues around town. We were in the south end of town for about five calls that were all vehicles stranded in the water. What we find is people again become a little overconfident on what they think their vehicles can do or they're unsure of how deep the water is. People weren't stopping, they were going even after the cones were put out and it was just Crazy. Taraya Harvey says her home was front and center to the flooding on Monica and Moonbeam Drive southeast of Colorado Springs. We saw fence posts and parts of fences being swept away. Near Ellicott, houses and outbuildings flooded and standing water seen for miles. It became a shocking sight in all areas, even for longtime residents. We don't see this type of event. Uh, where it's about three feet deep, probably once every 10 years or so. We talked to our neighbors that have been here for like 20 years, and they said they've never seen anything like this. El Paso County Public Works told me they had over 100 people working this storm. They are calling it an unprecedented event. Let's send it over to meteorologist Alex O'Brien for a look at the weather conditions that are expected to follow. She's in for Mike tonight. All right. So we